Hey guys, Max here from Slurve.com, and I'm going to be bringing you the GPP stacks for tonight's slate. Uh, today we have a full complement of games, and it's all about the pitching. There are very few good hitting spots uh, that I like, so I'm just going to concentrate on those, which will make this video pretty short and sweet. <clears throat> To start, let's talk about the Tigers. Uh, why exactly are they so cheap today? Is it a trap? Is it DraftKings pricing luring us into a false sense of security? I have no idea, but I'm going to play them. Uh, Jay Happ isn't a bad pitcher, but he's not very good either and not somebody to be truly afraid of. He gives up 32% hard hit rate to righties, a minimum amount of lion drives, and a decent amount of fly balls. Toronto is a plus park, and Tigers, although they haven't been lighting the world on fire versus left-handers so far this year, um, with a 103 WRC+, plus, uh, they're pretty good historically and pretty good uh, as individuals hitting against left-handers. So I'm not going to be afraid to go here. The Red Sox are an interesting stack for me today. Also, they face Chris Archer who they've been pretty good against historically, and we know Archer is no bueno on the road, having some of the craziest uh, home road splits that I've ever seen in a pitcher. If there was ever any day to play the Red Sox at low ownership, I think that would be today, as I do not expect them to be popular, as people love playing Chris Archer due to his upside. Uh, let's also not forget about Archer's um, inability to throw strikes sometimes which leads him to walking people and um, leads to big innings, which is a good thing. Now let's go to Coors, where I think both teams will be under owned today due to their pricing and the pitchers uh, that are facing off in Coors are not being awful. Uh, I really hope people are off the Rockies today because I'm going to be all in on them once again. Excuse me. Uh, Velasquez is no doubt a really good pitcher and is going to be good um, in the future. However, I just don't think um, he matches up well against the Rockies at all. He uh, doesn't give up much hard contact, but he does give up a good amount of line drives and fly balls which travel far at Coors Field, even if they're not hit particularly well. See Mark Reynolds' hits yesterday as an example, if you don't believe me. Uh, the Phillies' bullpen is also pretty spent after yesterday, and... All of those things are pretty positive for the Rockies. This is also coupled with the fact that, as I mentioned, ownership should be low, and Vegas total is going up for the Rockies. Last but not least, uh, it's a sneaky known fact that curveballs tend to not do well in the, in the altitude, of course. And Velasquez's second favorite pitch is his curveball. So he tends to throw that about 20% of the time. And I think it will get hit pretty hard today. Your Donovantura is an enigma wrapped in a riddle inside a conundrum. And I have no clue which your Dono is going to show up today. The guy that can dominate or the guy that walks a million hitters and give us a ton of home runs. But I am going to lean towards the latter. Um, I'm going to stack the Mariners tonight. I love their lefties in this matchup. Even though the park is not great, I think they can definitely go off today at low ownership. Last but not least, I want to talk about the Padres versus a lefty, which I want to talk about every time the Padres face a lefty. Um, I know Vegas is projecting them at a, a very, very, very small number. I think 3.2 runs. But I'm not going to let that scare me off. Uh, Kazmir is decent in the sense that he doesn't give up too much hard contact. It does strike out some people. But the Padres have a 117 WRC plus versus lefties. And um, they just don't care which lefty they face so far this year. Um, he does give up a 26% line drive rate and a 38% fly ball rate. So I think do think there's upside for home runs today as well as big innings. So I am going to roster some Padres, and I think you should too. All right, guys, uh, that's all for me. Join all the Slurv experts, as usual, tonight at 4.30 to discuss our favorite plays and just talk a bunch of awesome nonsense. Uh, let's destroy the, these next couple of days uh, so we can take a well-deserved all-star break and um, chillax on a bunch of stacks of money. Later.